All right, I'm gonna give you the ultimate tip on how to build more muscle. Now, before I proceed, I know there's gonna be somebody in the comments saying, you don't need muscle for an SHTF situation. Listen, there's not a person alive who doesn't want just a little bit more muscle mass. Because while you can be functionally strong at something without being a colossal bodybuilder, ultimately your strength, your innervation of muscle tissue relies on having that muscle tissue. So the more muscle tissue you have, the greater potential for strength you have. Anyways, I'm tired of justifying why you should want more muscle. Now here is the tip, and this is not my tip. This is Muhammad Ali, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is their main tips on how to build muscle. And in my experience, I've tried everything. I've tried just focusing on form, not going to failure, going to failure, strength training, holding the weights on the eccentric part of the movement. I've tried high volume training, low volume training, high frequency training, high intensity interval training. I've pretty much tried everything. And the number one way I've found in order to stimulate muscle growth is this. It's all about the last few reps that you think you can't or perhaps shouldn't do. It's the reps that are the most painful reps. They're really the reps that you do that make you probably look like a madman in the gym because you're gonna be, your face is gonna be all like and you're gonna be making noises and you're gonna be breathing all funny. But there's this Goldilocks zone of building muscle and it's right before injury. It's the point where you're straining so much to make that contraction. It takes so much effort that you feel like your bicep is just gonna snap. It's in that final rep that you put all your life and limb into that's going to cause those significant micro muscle fiber tears that's gonna actually contribute to hypertrophy, which is basically the reconstructing of muscle. You break down those tissues, they build back up because they don't want to be put under the same stress again. So the body says, well, in order to avoid this stress in the future, I should probably try to build up more muscle to prevent this from happening again. Of course, you keep doing that and that's how you naturally progress. This is why I would advise you if you had the discipline to do this, to not count reps. Yes, it's not a revolutionary concept, but don't count reps. Muhammad Ali, and I heard this quote through Arnold Schwarzenegger who quoted Ali. Ali was asked, how many reps do you do per set to get stronger? And he said, I don't start counting reps until it hurts. And that's the most important thing. Anybody can lift the weight that they can lift but it's going to the point of total and utter failure that is going to push you ahead. It's really, it comes down to two reps to greatness. It's like two more reps and you would be great. It's like anything in life. If you were just to take two more steps, never mind reps, two more steps in your path to greatness, those two steps that you perhaps told yourself you couldn't do, and you gave up before you reached your full potential in that respect because you gave up because you did not pick yourself up persevere wait for a second win to come to carry you into greatness that is what is going to build you muscle so that is my tip for you today push through the pain it's a mental battle remember when your mind says i have to stop usually you're only at about 50, 60%. When your mind says, okay, I really have to stop. Now, maybe you're at 80%. And then you go to 90%. Then you go to 95%. If you can push it close to that 95, 99% of your true potential, because remember, 100% is injury. So you don't want to go to 100%. You don't want to strain yourself to that extent. You need to understand your body when you're trying to push your body to failure. You want to be able to basically harness all of the capability, the existing capability of the muscle fibers that you have to create those muscle fiber tears, those micro fiber tears, not the macro fiber tears, because that's bad. That's basically pulling a muscle or tearing a muscle. You don't want to do that. It's all about the mind, 
muscle connection and you build that by focusing on the contraction not just by trying to crank out as many reps as you can the, the amount of reps doesn't matter that's why i'm saying don't count reps what you need to do is focus on the movement itself focus on the pain of it focus on finding any way you can through those final reps the pain in those final reps in your mind you can find a way through it and if you can i guarantee you the next day the next few days after that kind of workout you're going to swell up big time and that's when it's going to be important of course to also make sure that you're getting an ample amount of protein and all of the other stuff that's available on youtube but that's the number one point go to failure maybe not on every set not on your warm-up sets but in your last few sets you always want to be going to failure and you want to make sure that you're giving your body what it needs when it's in recovery in order to rebuild those tissues so as hard as you train you have to rest just as hard in order to basically allow those tissues to regenerate anyways i've said enough let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to like comment subscribe get your survival and preparedness t-shirts in the link in the description and don't forget bug out rolls are now on sale from here until the holidays and of course we've made some new upgrades to the bug out roll that you're going to want to check out as well thanks for watching canadian prepper out